morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Um, I'm out here with my wife. We're doing some practicing, just repainted the targets again, getting ready to go do another drill. Um, I wanted to speak to each and every last one of us here this morning uh, based on an active shooter situation that took place down in Florida the other day. And the reason why I'm on here right now is because it's in my conscience and it's in my mind uh, to go ahead and talk to you about how to navigate when you're in the public. It's obvious that there are people out there that have an agenda. There's, uh, it's obvious, painfully obvious, that there are people out there who have a precedent that they want to set. Now, the other day, uh, what happened was, is apparently, and I'm going to be vague and blunt and explain in detail uh, what I saw, and hopefully to try to get you to comprehend how you should actually conduct yourself. Now, I'm going to tell you what I do, first in public. Number one, whenever I pull up to a convenience stop or a gas station, um, I always make sure, I, at least I try to always do this, make sure that my car is always pointing towards driving out when I'm filling up for gas. My, my vehicle is always pointing towards driving out when I'm filling up for gas. Reason being is because if somebody decides to go into a convenient market, and they decide to actually take some people's lives or something like that. And um, if you are not experienced in combat, if you're not experienced with weapons, if you're not experienced in how to handle yourself in a hostile situation, then the law of this land teaches you to actually get out of the area and do not try to be a hero. So with many of you who don't have the experience, the first thing you should do is, is have your vehicle pointed towards the exit. So in that case, something does go down, you can actually jump in your vehicle and head out and get you and your family to safety. Uh, now, however, you're a little bit more experienced like myself, uh, Brother Gideon, and a few other veterans, um, probably the, more than likely, the chances are you're probably going to go to the fire and go to the situation and uh, uh, try to do whatever you can to eliminate the threat. Nowadays, it's not up to us to determine or decide who is the literal threat because you can see two people having guns, firing at each other, and you don't know who the guilty party is. If you're in a situation like that, if you're in a scenario like that, the best thing for you to do is get yourself and your family to safety. And let me say that, and I need to make sure I reiterate that. Also, if I just have to go into a convenient market, either myself, my wife, if we have to go into a, 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 a quick stop or something like that, um, never park your vehicle in front of the store. I never park my vehicle in front of the store. I always park over to the side if I'm not at a gas pump, or I park in the back, and then I walk to the store. The reason why I walk to the store because I'm constantly assessing the situation and the surroundings that I'm in. If I said it once, I said it a thousand times. You do not get to pick the day, the time, or the hour when evil comes your way. And you want to do everything you can, everything you can to be responsible and be tactical and start thinking for others who do not have the mind to actually think like this. Now, in this particular situation, which we go into, apparently, um, the white man that actually shot and killed his black man had a history of antagonizing people. Now, if someone is out there parking in a handicapped parking spot, or if they're doing something what you perceive to be illegal, realize this. You need to maintain self-control and stay in control. You are not the law. You're not the judge, you're not the jury, and you're not the executioner. That's the reason why they have police out there. Let them do their job. If someone's going to break the law, let them break the law. You don't go chase down everybody who's speeding past you on the highway. So don't go sticking your nose into somebody else's business, even though they're doing something perceived to be illegal. Again, you're not the law, you're not the judge, you're not the jury, and you're not the executioner. The idea is, is anytime you leave your homestead, you want to be able to leave no matter where you're going in this world because you want to get back home again safely. Because every single time you leave your home, you are entering into a hostile environment. And you don't get to pick the day, the time, or the hour when evil comes your way. Now, people are on edge in this world, and they're on edge big time. And, of course, what, what happened was is that a black man and his wife, they pull up in a handicapped zone in a convenient market. Uh, the white man gets out, the black man is inside the store, the white man gets out and starts um, harassing and speaking evil towards 
this black man's wife. Of course, she's trading words back. Lesson learned here. If someone comes to your vehicle, women, and your husband or your uh, boyfriend, whoever he may be, is inside the store, you do not engage in conversation with any stranger that you don't know. You keep your windows up, and if you are armed, you make sure that your weapon is at a place that you can easily access it and get a hold of it. So don't go out there and start trading words with, with strangers, thereby getting up your emotions, their emotions, and then the situation could escalate to something which over really nothing, you wish it never had happened. Because once a bullet goes down range, you can't take that bullet back. There's no such thing as repentance or forgiveness once that bullet goes down range. It's going to accomplish which that it was set and meant to do. Now, what happened was is that this man came outside. He saw that this white man was actually harassing his wife. He goes over and he pushes the man down. He pushes the man down, and according to in Florida State, there's a stand your ground law. The man falls to the ground. The man, the black man then is kind of turned to walk away slightly. The white man deploys his weapon, and he puts one round in the chest cavity of the black guy. The black guy walks off and goes into the convenience store, and there he dies. The police come and assess the situation. They have it on videotape and evidence, and the police held that man not guilty because the state that he lives in is a stand your ground law. Now, let me give you a situation like this. If you find someone harassing your family or something like that, remember, the first thing you want to do is use this mindset. If you're going to engage in trade words, you make sure you assess the situation very well. And if any time you're going to get in any type of altercation whatsoever at all, you make sure that you have either have firepower or superior firepower to be able to answer any threat that comes your way. See, a lot of times people, they get out there and they get into their emotions and they go off into their feelings. And when they go off into these things, they're, they're thinking that the same way that you grew up, you can just trade words and engage in words. That, and if you put your hands on someone, which is not lawfully your property, that that's about the end of it. Some people get gassed up. Well, other people out there are very prepared over situations like this. And then the customers, as well as the people who work in the store, said that this particular white man that shot and killed that black man, they said that he has a history of harassing people at that convenience store. Regardless of what the history may be, the bottom line is this. You've got one dead black man, and the whole world can't say anything about it because according to the laws down in Florida, that man stood his ground, and thereby he is not guilty. You may not like the verdict. You may not like the judgment. You may not even like the situation. You may get emotionally charged. You may start uh, coming out and saying guns is evil, everybody's evil, and which I agree, everybody's evil, but a gun is an animate object, and it's not evil. Evil people use guns the wrong way, just like righteous people use guns the right way. So the idea is to maintain self-control, Constantly be aware of your surroundings and do not allow yourself to get into a situation to where you're going to become a victim. Now, I realize that I run the risk of a lot of people judging me in this particular situation right here. But like I said, this is no black or white situation, just a truthful situation. Do not go out there harassing and tempting, tormenting and driving people. Do not go out there so-called breaking the law. Or, or doing things and think that people are not going to check you on it because some people actually think that they're police. And because that day may be your last day here on earth. We're going to get back to shooting. Hope I said something to stimulate thought. Hope I said something to give you to think about. Y'all have a wonderful day. King coming.